I just got this dual chamber tumbling composter from the company FCMP Outdoors. First, I started off with that bucket there. It's been there for like a month. I threw some soil dirt that's in the backyard, some brown material, some green leaves. Um, I've thrown some kitchen scraps in there and some water. I left it there. I've been shaking it every few days and it's just been there. So now I'm moving up a level with an actual composter. Now this one, as it says, is the dual because it's got two sides. And supposedly what they want, what they designed it for is for one side, for you to have compost ready to be using. And then on the other side, you're throwing things in to, to be decomposing. But I'm not gonna use two different sections. The door, you can open it both ways because it actually comes off. What I'm gonna do is use the whole thing as one. So I still kept the inner divider in here because I, I think it helps with the structure. That way this wall, the center and this wall are all hanging on this pole here. So three points of contact for the weight because I'm gonna fill it up. And it is, it's got some markings here, plus and like a timer. This thing is very smooth to turn. It's empty, but we'll see how it is when it's full. It's got a bunch of air vents on the sides, holes throughout. And it also, there's two of these, one on this side, one on the other side that you can close. On every other one of these flat panels, there's a carrying handle on both sides. And it's got grooves here, like little lines, and here for grip. And this little cut-ins in there uh, help you for turning it. This is like the most highly rated composter in Amazon. But uh, some people are saying that the instructions are not as clear the, as they should be. And that is correct. The instructions, you kind of gonna, you kind of have to guess. I, I made two mistakes quickly and I had to go back, disassemble, put it back together because this thing will take you like an hour to put it together. Each one of these panels has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. So all together is 56 screws. The instruction manual tells you that there's more instructions on the internet for you to get on their website. I wasn't gonna do that. I just looked and figured it out on my own. It takes you a little bit of time. But anyway, I went to the backyard and I raked in some of the soil that's over there. And I have it in here. As you can see, this is from the backyard. I'm gonna throw in the, a layer of that. Then I'm gonna throw in some of the leaves and grass that I've been collecting from the backyard, from the banana trees, from some of the branches that I've been pruning throughout. And I got two piles over there, so I'm gonna throw some of that in here. I found this brown paper that I use for shipping like on eBay, when I sell something on eBay, I usually wrap, usually wrap the box in this. So I'm gonna put layers of this brown paper as well. I got some coffee grounds in there that I've been collecting for like two weeks. There's also a few eggshells. I'm not big on eggs, uh, but I've been saving some of the shells. And there's also stinging needle tea. Uh, I'm also gonna be putting water. The last layer on top, I'm gonna put some of the potting soil that I bought like 10 bags. I have them in the garage. That's what I've been using to grow some tomatoes and beans in the garage and then transplant them out to the garden. So I'm gonna throw that on top and I'm gonna fill this whole thing cause it's gonna work as one for me. So that is probably not gonna be enough. I might get some more of that soil. Now the green and brown material, that's gonna take up space. I'm gonna try to chop it up as best as I can, throw it in there. And by the time I throw the potting soil, you know, it'll filter down through the holes and help to fill up the, the thing. Once everything is full and I spin it, I'm gonna leave it there. Who knows, a month, maybe more, turning it every few days, like maybe five, six times. And once I see that the compost is ready, then I'll start getting compost out. So I already tried. You can fit a regular shovel in there with some difficulty, you gotta, gotta, gotta maneuver it in there. So I'm not gonna do that. An e-tool will work great for those of you who know what an e-tool is. 
But since I have this one, for, this is what I'm gonna use to get the compost out and put it on a bucket or wherever. If I need a lot and I have a container that I can fit down there, I'll just turn it that way and open the gate and let it fall. So that is the next step in my food forest prep, creating my own compost. I'm gonna be experimenting as time goes on, different mixtures. At this moment, I don't plan on putting kitchen scraps in here. I have another plan for my kitchen scraps that I'm gonna be working on later on. In here is just gonna be green, brown material, uh, the coffee things, if you wanna call that kitchen scrap or whatever, coffee things, eggshells, but I'm gonna try to avoid food, like salads or fruits and stuff. So now I'm just gonna take it out to the, where it's gonna be and start loading it with the materials. And a month or two, I'll do a video showing you how things are going, if it, if it works or how good, how bad. So check out the, this composter by that, that company there. Um, on their website, it's like $130. On the, my local Walmart was about $88 plus tax. So I just went on Amazon and got it for like $77 and free shipping because it's prime. So check it out. Seems pretty cool, the highest rated on Amazon. So let's get to work creating some compost.